One of my favourite restaurants on the Mornington Peninsula would have to be Point Leo Estate. And I'm lucky enough to have culinary director Josip here to make us one of your famous dishes. Mm -hmm. This I've tried at the restaurant. It is so good. Murray cod with pil pil sauce. Yes, correct. We have it in Laura at the moment on yes. the menu. And yep. we have adapted the recipe a little bit for people to be able to make it at home. That's what I love because it is such a special, unique restaurant. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you can change it up so everyone can make it is yep. really nice. What is pil pil sauce? Pil pil sauce is a very, very simple sauce mm -hmm. that has just four ingredients. Yep. It has olive oil, garlic, chili, mm -hmm. and the cod itself. Fantastic. All right, well, what goes in the pan first? Well, we start with the olive oil. Mm -hmm. We just put it in the pan. And what we do first is we fry the garlic mm -hmm. and the chilies. Right. Good quality extra virgin olive oil. Very important. Uh, not too strong for cooking. Yes. Uh, because you don't want to be the sauce too overpowering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you still want that beautiful olive oil flavor. Lovely. Garlic goes in. Okay. So that's a, a lot of garlic and a lot of olive oil. But because you're Spanish, it just makes sense, huh? That's correct. <laughs> that's what we like. And that pan's not too hot, not too cold. You just want to start frying off that garlic. Correct. The garlic has to be fried, but we don't want to take it too far. Yes. Otherwise, it's going to burn and the sauce will taste bitter. Mm, smells good already. We can put the chilies in now. Okay. Uh, so, dry chilies? Dry chilies. Mm -hmm. Just a couple. Yep. Obviously, if you like heat, if you like spicy food, you can add a couple more. I love this recipe because it really shows off ingredients from the region that you love so much, the Mornington Peninsula. That's right. Um, the, even the olive oil comes from there. Uh, this really lovely, almost a peppery flavour uh -huh. to it. Isn't it? It's quite intense in flavour. Yeah, we're very lucky. Also, it's a Spanish variety. It's mm -hmm. Picoao and yes. it comes from Cape Shank. We are very lucky to have such great produce on the Mornington Peninsula mm. uh, all year round. Yes. And also, like Australian fish, like the maricot, is yes. an indigenous Australian fish. Mm. That type of fish that is very popular in Spain, but we are cooking it with Australian ingredients. Obviously. Exactly. Maricot is becoming readily available now, and it is just such a wonderful fish. It's really great, particularly if you don't like lots of bows, because mm -hmm. it is quite a large fish. Yeah. Very easy to cook. It's forgiving because it's got a lot of fat in it. I like the texture of the fish and mm. also I like the fact that you can use the whole fish. Like yes. you can use the bones to make a stock. Yep. And also like today, the collagen that the fish has under the skin is going to help to emulsify our sauce. Now, speaking of the whole fish, this is something that's quite special, cococha. And this is something that I've tried only in Spain. Uh, correct. This is a prized piece of the fish. This is a delicacy back home yes. and it is uh, quite rare still in Australia. Mm. This comes from the fish throat. It's just right here. under the head. Yeah. And um, it just cooks really fast and it's, it's this muscle that has lots of gelatin yes. and it's really beautiful to eat. It is so delicious. So I'm a very lucky girl to be trying this today. It is delicious. Justin, this is ready. I think it smells great. We mm. can now put it aside. Okay, I'm going to bring that to you. Perfect. Thank you. So essentially that garlic is flavouring the oil. Correct. Are we going uh -huh. to use this garlic later on? Yes, okay. we will. Yep. Uh, we will use the garlic to finish the dish yep. and to put it on top of the sauce. We're just taking it off now so mm. it, it doesn't burn. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get the last little bit. Yes. And we can now season the fish and put it in the oil. Okay, so put that down. Uh, just salt for seasoning? Just salt, yeah, both sides. Okay, a little salt. And what part of the fish is this that we're using today? This is the loin. The this loin. is the top part of the fish. Yep. I really like this part, especially to eat a pil pil, because it has quite a lot of flesh and you can really get into it with your knife and fork. Oh, yes. All right, there you go. We're going to start with the fish skin up. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Skin up. And you will see why we're doing skin up first. Yes. And just for a couple of minutes, two or three minutes each side. This is really interesting because all of these years you're taught when you cook fish, skin side down first. Well, when we make pil pil, we have to start skin up mm -hmm. because the collagen and the gelatin that we want to emulsify the sauce is mainly under the skin. Right. So when we finish with the skin down, all that collagen will go into the sauce and then we can just finish it at the end. Um, why don't we add some cocoches as well? Yes, just please. Three. So, just anywhere? As many as, you, as many as you like. They are pretty tasty, so, oh, so tasty. Be, be generous. 
And while this is cooking, we're gonna prepare a little bit of a garnish to go with. And okay. following the Spanish theme, we're gonna use jamón, which we're gonna slice thinly, fry it off with olive oil from Cape Sheng, mm -hmm. and some fresh paste as well, oh. just to freshen up the cod. This is going to be very tasty. I think it will. <laughs> So the fish is ready, good to go. We've got the garnish, the jamón and the peas, mm -hmm. and now we just need to finish the, the sauce, yeah? All right. So what we're gonna do now is emulsify mm -hmm. the oil with just a bit of stock that we made before with some of the fish bones. Right. That's the beauty of maricot, yes. that you can use absolutely everything. Oh. And now, as you can see, the sauce is emulsifying mm -hmm. just magically. It is really like magic to, to think that that is simply extra virgin olive oil uh -huh. and very gelatinous uh, stock, it transforms its thickening like a mayonnaise. Correct. <laughs> and then nice. you can play with the stock, yes. adding as much as you like yep. to make the texture you like. So you can make it thinner, you can make it thicker. Yep. And it's just really simple. Wow. As you can see, it just emulsifies together. That is brilliant. And that's what a pil pil sauce looks like. That's a pil pil. That's a classic pil pil. I'm actually going to do that. Usually I'll be using a whisk, but don't need a whisk anymore. You can use a sieve, it works it's just as well. Yeah. And you can use it in the same pan where you cook the fish, actually. Yes. So less yep. mess around in yep. the kitchen. And so you're just adding little by little. Ready to go. What do you think? We can test as well. Yes. See how it looks. Oh, that looks so That's good. good. <laughs> That's good. Perfect. Right, so all we have to do now is plate this up. We've got our fish ready to go there. The sauce and the cucucha. Beautiful. Mm. And then we're just gonna put some garlic on top. Yeah, I can do that for you. And the chilies on the side. And Beautiful. the cococha. Put some cocochas around. Mm -hmm. The prize cococha. Prize cococha, that's it. One day we might find cococha at our supermarkets. Well, I really hope so. <laughs> I really you hope never know. so. And the garlic, we'll just sprinkle that over the top. Yeah, just on top, just around. I don't know if I'm gonna be plating this as well as you would, Jessa. This is freestyle, I'm sure. The garlic, some chilies. There and there? Yeah. <laughs> and we can put some paste around as well. Maybe we just finish with a drizzle of olive oil to make it a bit shinier. Yes, and we probably don't have enough olive oil, so I think no, we should put never. some more in. <laughs> we just made a sauce made of, completely made of olive oil. Lucky olive oil is so good for us, right? Just put a bit around. This is why I love the masters coming on Everyday Gourmet because they show not only new techniques, just like that emulsification, but just how easy it is to take a few ingredients, transform it into a beautiful looking dish like this. Sunday lunch. Sunday lunch, absolutely, totally spoilt. Shall I have a try? Yeah, I think you should. Right. Give it a go, see what you think. The one bit that I want to try is the gorgocha. The gorgocha. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try it with a spoon, actually. Cucucha. I really want to get the sauce. Mmm. It's really tasty. It's really a beautiful dish. I love the texture of that sauce. It's yeah. so smooth. You do need to use good quality olive oil for this yeah, to great. work. And bread. Oh, and bread. <laughs> Lots of bread. And if you don't want to make this at home, of course, you can go to Laura at Point Leo Estate and try it yourself. Very Thank nice. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.